Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. A new report released yesterday provides insight into the upcoming Social Security increase. Additionally, lawmakers are discussing a new plan aimed at ensuring the solvency of Social Security beyond 2033, but there are concerns it could impact future retirees. We'll delve into both topics shortly. Before we jump into today's main content, could I ask for a quick favor? Liking this video helps boost its visibility on YouTube, so please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, on to our lead story for today. In the recent New York special election for George Santos' seat, a Democrat emerged victorious, causing former President Trump to express his frustration. Trump criticized the Republican candidate for distancing herself from him, emphasizing the importance of political alignment in modern America. In other news, the Senate passed a bill allocating $60 billion for Ukraine with bipartisan support. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer urged the House to swiftly approve the bill, despite opposition from Speaker Mike Johnson, who demanded stricter border reforms be included. This disagreement highlights the tension between international aid and domestic priorities. Moving on, a recent report indicates a modest increase in Social Security benefits for 2025, projected at 1.75% based on current inflation trends. While this is lower than previous adjustments, it reflects ongoing economic conditions and forecasts from the Congressional Budget Office. That wraps up today's updates. Stay tuned for more developments, and thank you for watching. So, let's break down what a 1.75% cost of living adjustment means for everyone receiving Social Security benefits. In 2024, the average retiree receives $1,997 per month. With a projected 1.75% increase for 2025, their benefit would rise to $2,030, an increase of approximately $1.33. For Supplemental Security Income SSI recipients, the maximum benefit this year is $943. With the 1.75% increase, it would bump up to $960, an additional $1.17. As for those on disability, the average benefit is currently $1,537. With the 1.75% adjustment, it would increase by $1.27 to $1,564. This adjustment, though the lowest in recent times, reflects a downward trend in inflation, providing some relief to beneficiaries. Now, on to the latest in Social Security reform discussions. Recent reports indicate that without intervention, the Social Security Trust Fund could become insolvent by 2032 or 2033, resulting in benefit cuts of 2025%. Lawmakers are considering various proposals to address this issue, one of which involves revising tax breaks for retirement savings accounts. Currently, contributions to traditional IRAs and 401k plans allow individuals to shield income from payroll taxes, which are crucial for funding Social Security. By limiting these tax breaks, lawmakers aim to bolster Social Security's finances. For instance, reducing the maximum contribution limits or altering the tax treatment of contributions could generate additional revenue for the trust fund. However, critics argue that such revisions may disproportionately impact lower- and middle-income earners, discouraging their participation in retirement savings plans. This could leave them more reliant on Social Security in retirement, highlighting the importance of ensuring access to diverse retirement savings options. In summary, while addressing Social Security's financial challenges is critical, it's essential to consider the potential impacts on all income groups. Balancing the need for solvency with ensuring retirement security for all Americans is a complex but necessary endeavor. That wraps up today's news. If you found this video helpful, Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.